Hello there. In this video, I'm going to quickly tell you how to go about creating a chart of account value sets in Oracle Fusion SaaS application. And this is a pre-requirement for setting up the chart of account structure. So before we proceed ahead, I'm going to quickly take you through the business scenario. And I'm sure you must be following a number of my videos that I have created and published on YouTube a little while ago, which is all preparing for creating the legal entity, chart of accounts and accounting structure in Oracle Fusion SaaS applications. So here is a brief of business scenario. Orange Corp is based in Auckland with its office or head office there and having a branch office in Wellington. So basically Orange Corp, the example I've given here is a mock corporation for uh, for the business scenario purposes and it's got uh, a number of countrywide main warehouses which are located in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. The Auckland Wellington warehouse serves the North Island customers whereas the Christchurch warehouse serves the South Island customers of New Zealand. And since the company is registered at the Auckland office, the address for its head office is the same as its registered legal entity address. So if you recall in one of uh, my previous videos, I have uh, shown you how to go about creating the legal address and then creating the legal entity respectively. So while creating the legal entity, we have used the legal address. So in summary, a setup of five locations are required, which is uh, uh, which are for Auckland head office, Wellington branch office and three warehouses located under Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch. Further to this, so this is the basic business scenario. Now coming to the one specifically that is required for setting up the chart of account structure, we've got to create the following um, value sets. Okay, so I will be creating the chart of account structure which will consist of five value set. The first one will contain the company so here the example of Orange Corp I have created, it is basically for one country, but a corporation implementing Fusion SaaS applications could have multiple legal entities spread across within the one country or across multiple countries worldwide. All right. So our example is going to be very simple for demonstration purposes, uh, particularly to benefit those who are new to Fusion SaaS applications. So. In this case, we've got Orange Corp as just one company, but there could be two, three, four, five companies and each of the company you can designate as a unique code uh, identifier, for example, 10, 20, and so on. So which is where we'll create the value set for company and the identifier will be two characters wide. So I'm gonna designate Orange Corp as 10, to identify it. Then we have the department value set, which is what we'll create with four characters a wide value set. So departments, as you know, could be human resources or uh, could be marketing, sales, inside sales, or customer relationship, support, uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, so each of the department will have a unique identifier which will be four characters long. Okay. Then we've got the account. So this is referring to the natural account to identify a specific transaction. Uh, for example, a sales related transaction or uh, spending money for purchasing, um, say for ass assembling a specific product and then selling it as a finished good. So for purchase, there could be one account for sales. There could be another account for inside sales. There could be another account for miscellaneous expenditure. There could be another account and so on. So account uh, I have designated as seven characters long field in the value set. Then we'll have an intercompany value set. So even though Orange Corp in this particular example is just one, one uh, company, but there could be a transaction between one or more companies. Say for example, in future, if we decide to have uh, a subsidiary of Orange Corp, which is based in Australia, 
and uh, FR Inch Corp New Zealand is sending or, or uh, some items to Australia, there will be an intercompany transaction which will include some in transit, uh, in transit uh, expenditure like uh, transfer via freight, customs duty and so on. So that would come under logistics. So that will come under the in transit expenditure. So all that will be transacted as intercompany transaction. So at the moment we are not going to use the intercompany feature, but I'm going to make a value set which will contain the intercompany uh, code identifier, and that will be two characters long. It will identify the company to which the transaction is taking place. Then I will left a last value set or last segment as future that will be four characters long so in future if the organization decides to have a feature or they have a requirement to incorporate additional value uh, set or additional segment in their chart of account structure then they can leverage this last segment out there okay so that's will contain our chart of account with five segments hence we will be creating five value set for our chart of account structure as a part of our accounting key flex field okay and the naming convention for all these value set to be used as something like this as OR for orange then you have got the GL because it belongs to GL accounting flex field and then CUA stands for chart of account structure and then I'm going to give uh, a, a short letter over here like underscore company then underscore department account intercompany and future for each of these value sets respectively all right so this is the business scenario that we have so now I will jump on to fusion SAS applications and we'll create these value sets for our chart of account with this naming convention okay so to start with we'll create the company value set for our chart of account so let's go to fusion size applications okay so here i am and in our uh, in our uh, setup and maintenance now uh, before i proceed ahead i'm going to quickly show you the release and version we are on so we are on release 13 of fusion size application with a version of 23d okay having said that i'm going to close this i'm going to look for a task called as manage chart of account and then value sets okay i'm going to search with this so this is the one i'm looking for manage chart of account value sets okay and then i'm going to go and open this and here i'm going to click on plus icon to create a new one and here I'm gonna start by following our naming convention for value set code as OR underscore GL underscore COA underscore company okay description I'm gonna give orange Corp COA company value set okay I'm going to remove the corp so I'll say simply orange COA company value set module I'm going to select the GL here and then validation type I'm going to say independent and validation type I will say character and according to what I gave in the presentation slide I'm going to give the value set subtype as text and the maximum length I'm going to give as two characters okay with that I will hit the save and close button so this value set was saved I'm going to create a new one for the department with the same naming conventions so OR underscore GL underscore COA underscore department so I would say orange corp COA 
department module i'm going to select channel ledger validation type independent and value data type as character value subtype as text and then maximum length will go back to presentation and as you could see it is four characters so i'm going to go back and give four characters over there So I'm going to give 4 and that's it. I'm going to hit the save and close button. I'll create a new one for our natural account. We'll follow the same naming conventions. OR then GL COA and then account orange COA account module I'm gonna select GL validation type independent data type character value subtype text and then maximum length is 7 okay and I'm gonna hit the save and close button again and then I'm gonna create a new one for natural account so I'm gonna follow the same naming conventions or underscore gl underscore coa underscore intercompany and then I'll give the description orange coa intercompany values okay so the module is GL validation type independent value data type character value subtype text and maximum length is two characters I'm going to hit the save and close button then I'm going to create another one that is for future so OR GL underscore COA underscore future this is a description select the module validation type independent data type character subtype text and maximum length is 4 ok I am going to hit the save and close button and here I'm going to go back and now I will search for our value set by its code so I will say OR underscore GL let's see what comes those five value sets should come up as you could see all these five value sets have come up okay so this is how you go about creating the value sets for your chart of account structure so in the subsequent videos we will create a chart of account structure then we'll create the chart of account uh, instance and once that is over we'll also create the values that will populate in these value sets for the chart of accounts okay and even before that I think we have got to also work on the calendars so the chart of account works on a couple of things such as currency uh, calendars and your chart of accounts and these three C's will make up your accounting key flex field or accounting structure as a part of your financial structure setup.